everyone welcome back to another video on my channel it's a really odd one because obviously everyone has been seeing videos on my channel every other day but this is actually the first video i've sat and filmed for like a few weeks because i got loads done in lockdown and and just scheduled them all so this is the first one i've actually recorded for a really long time so it's good to be back um even though i haven't technically gone anywhere for you so i'm just going in with this gel color here it's a nice bright red from magpie and um, throughout this video i have put on screen what i am using so i'm not going to go too much into detail about that with the voice safe i'm just going to tell you what i'm actually doing so today's video obviously as you can tell from the title is a nice abstract set it's a nice change to doing full-on christmas nails and this set was done on the 18th of december so it was a nice change so i'm just going in here and getting my base colors down I did two coats of um, Good Golly Miss Molly on the two middle ones and then three coats of Bella Rouge on the other three. Um, just to be on the safe side, nice opaque with Bella Rouge. Um, it is a really good pigmented colour, but I am working on top of the clear Magpie full-on tips here. So obviously, as you can see, the tips of them are see-through. So just to make sure that they're not um, see-through with the colour on, I did do three coats because I had to keep going in and out of the lamp anyway. So... Anyway, just going in with those coats, um, I did one on camera and then did one off. Um, I have left this video in real time so you can see what pace I actually work at. Obviously this video is 8 minutes long, um, but I did pause after finishing this hand every time to do the other hand while this one was in the lamp. So it's not really realistic that I do like a full set of nail art in 8 minutes. <laughs> this is just one hand and the other hand is done in between this one. So anyway, once I've finished that um, and I've taken that out of the lamp, the next step I'm going to do, obviously, off camera is just paint on the other colours, uh, the other layers, sorry. And then we're going to come back and start getting into the design. So I'm using Foil Me here. Um, I'm just going to pop this on just a bit randomly, really thin, because I don't actually want a full coverage nail. Um, this foil gel is perfect if you do want full coverage, though. So there's always the option of that. Um, I have got a video on it already, so have a look at that on my channel if you haven't already and then i'm just going in with this foil i'm just going to put it on really randomly just get some little patches because we are going to be going in with more on top of this as well this is just a bit of a background but i do want to see that color poking through because we both me and my client really liked this base color so i'm now going in with this silver gel it's absolutely beautiful it is brill birds glamour gel i've now got all of them and they are all stunning um definitely worth investing in so I'm just getting this with this really cheap brush that I got from Amazon in one of the sets um, that I've bought over time. And I have dedicated this brush to the Glamour Gels because they are so glittery. There is no chance you are getting all that glitter out of your brushes once you've used it. So I do have a couple of brushes that I only use for these gels. So obviously when I'd applied the, um, the foil gel, I popped it into the lamp for a minute and then I brought it out, popped on the foil and then I'm just going straight on with the Glamour Gel pop that in my lamp to cure that and then coming back out and doing some black dots um, with just an everyday dotting tool nothing special and then once I finish doing the dots I'll do some lines it's just really really simple but really effective Um, do go out of focus here but I do realize pretty quickly and sort it out <laughs> so don't worry it doesn't stay like this I think it's now yeah there we go suddenly noticed it was focused on something completely different so anyway, just going to finish off those black dots, just popping them anywhere, not any in particular order or anything like that. Just going in, just throwing on some dots. Um, and then, yeah, I'll move on to lines with the white. I'm using the Magpie Striper brush to do these lines and just popping those anywhere and everywhere as well. Not in any particular order, just some straightish lines.
Okay, so this nail was half done with this because it was something I was experimenting with. I was popping on some stars to see whether I liked them or not, and I did, so that's why I decided to click record. So we're going in with some stars from Tears Beauty. These are the red ones and the silver ones, but they do lots of different colours and they're all beautiful. As always, I have my discount code in the description box, which is Beauty Matters 10 in capital letters. You can get you 10% off the website, although they are closed until Monday the 4th of January. So if you're watching this after, if you're watching that this before that, um, you will need to wait till then for dispatch, but definitely worth the wait because everything is beautiful from there. So anyway, I'm just popping these stars randomly on the nail. I don't put any more than four on each nail because I don't want too many because um, we've already got a lot going on in these nails anyway. And then I am going to end the voiceover here because that is pretty much all I do for this set. It was nice and simple, really, really effective though. And then after this, I just cured those, popped a layer of giving strength over the top and then top coated. And that is how easy this set is. You can do it with any colours, any materials like products, it's absolutely brilliant. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed filming it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much and I'll be back soon. Bye.